Aortic stenosis is a degenerative disease involving the valve that connects the contracting chamber of the left ventricle with the aorta that supplies blood to the rest of the body. As this valve becomes old, calcified, and rigid, it prevents the movement of blood from the left ventricle out to the rest of the body. It's a very common disease. One in 20 patients over the age of 75 have some degree of aortic stenosis. And when the aortic stenosis becomes very severe, patients become to be develop symptoms. It's very important that when patients develop symptoms that are associated with their aortic stenosis that they seek medical attention. The symptoms that we look for when we evaluate patients with the disease are chest pains, or shortness of breath when they exert themselves, or um, dizziness, or lightheadedness when they exert themselves, or general fatigue. Because when these symptoms develop, we know that the next year or two for the patients are very problematic years, hospitalizations, and sometimes even cardiac death. And what we want to do is we want to be able to intervene when these symptoms develop before the patients develop these very, very untoward outcomes. There are several options for patients with aortic stenosis. The most true option is aortic valve replacement surgery, which is done by our surgical colleagues who open up the chest and place an artificial valve, which is either a tissue valve or a mechanical valve. Now, most commonly in elderly patients, we use a tissue valve because it doesn't require the blood thinning medicine Coumadin afterwards. Now there are some patients, it's estimated about 30 percent of patients with aortic stenosis who are higher risk for this aortic valve replacement surgery. And those kind of high risk features include frailty, they include uh, calcification of the aorta, pulmonary disease, and any kind of other disease states that patients have that make them, makes them weaker. And oftentimes elderly patients are just generally weak overall, making them less than optimal candidates for traditional aortic valve replacement surgery. Over the last five years, we have been developing newer approaches for the treatment of high-risk patients with aortic stenosis. And that involves placing an artificial valve from either the leg or across the heart itself by making a small incision of the heart. Now the important parts of these uh, newer therapies is that it allows us to treat patients who would be otherwise deemed high risk for open heart surgery with less invasive or percutaneous approaches through the leg. Now it's very important that we have a multidisciplinary team evaluate patients to, to sort out who's a good candidate for surgery or who's a good candidate for these alternative therapies. And those multidisciplinary teams include cardiac surgeons and interventional cardiologists, vascular surgeons, radiologists, and many of our non-invasive cardiology colleagues who can best assess the morbidity that's expected with these procedures for our patients. When our patients now, particularly our elderly patients who are over the age of 80, who have aortic stenosis and want to understand what their options are, the first thing to understand is that we have many good options. And it may well be that, that because they're strong and because they're vigorous, they would be very good candidates for conventional aortic valve replacement surgery and be out of the hospital in five or six days with a recovery time in total of about 30 days, but then back to their normal lifestyles after that. But for those patients who are higher risk, or those who are deemed to be non-operative candidates, we're very excited about the potential theories we have in the future that will allow us to treat this very, very important disease.